Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this shawl right here. Um, from start to about three quarters of the way down, it has these ridges. If you can see, by the way my hands are a little past here. By the way my hands go. And then towards the bottom, it's got a little bit more um, open work. And you can see that. Um, it's a nice uh, thick shawl. So it should keep anybody warm on those cold nights. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Um, I want to say special thanks to my friends at Red Heart for providing today's yarn for me. Today I'm using the Red Heart Evermore, which is a um, wool acrylic blend. Yeah, it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool, so it does have a bit of a fuzz on it. And it is a super bulky number six. And the color that I use is called Emerald Isle. I used for my project nine skeins of yarn. Not quite nine skeins, but you will need nine skeins if you want to make it the size of mine. And there's 89 yards per skein. Um, so I will put a link below to where you can get this yarn. They got lots of pretty colors in it. It's very, very the color is gorgeous. I can't say enough about really about the color. It's very pretty. Um, also, I'll put a link to uh, Red Heart, uh, RedHeart.com, uh, where they got lots of thousands of free crochet patterns. Um, I'm sure you could check them out and probably find something that you want to make on there. And then I'm also going to be using a size N, which is actually a nine millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start with a slip knot on your hook. And don't forget to check out bagadaycrochet.com where you can find the free pattern to this written pattern on my blog. So, to get your slip knot on your hook, we're going to start off with a chain of three. Like that. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. A Just like that. Okay, so for row one we're going to chain one and we're going to work three double crochets through the center of the ring there's one two and three now we're going to chain two which is going to form the long point of the poncho or uh, I'm sorry the long point of the shawl and then we're going to go back through the ring and work three more double crochets. You pull that tail, close up that center circle. So what we have is three doubles, a chain two, and three more doubles. So now we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to put two double crochets into the very, very first stitch. We always put two double crochets into the very first stitch. So there's one. And there's two. Now we're going to put one double crochet in each of these next two stitches. And now we're at the chain two space, or the uh, point of the pond, or the point of the shawl. I keep wanting to call it a poncho. Point of the shawl. We want to put through that chain two space two double crochets. A chain of two. And then two more doubles all into that same chain two space and that is what every time we get to this point the chain two space that's what we'll always put in it two doubles chain two two doubles now we're going to work one double crochet in the next two stitches and then the last stitch we'll get two double crochets we always put two double crochets into the last stitch just 
just like that. So now you'll have twelve stitches at the end of round two. Okay, for round three, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. Always put two double crochets into the very first stitch. And now we're going to be working front post double crochet in every stitch until you get to the chain two space. So the front post is this where you yarn over and instead of working your double crochet into the top of the stitch, you work around the post of the stitch like that. And we're going to do that in every single stitch until we get to our chain two space. Okay, I got one more. Just like that. Now I'm at my chain two space or the point of my shawl and I'm going to put right through it two double crochets. A chain of two and then two more double crochets. Just like that. And now we'll start again working front post double crochets in every stitch until you get to your last stitch. So go ahead and yarn over and we'll do your front post double around the first stitch. And then every stitch until you get to the very last stitch of your shawl. Now when you get to the very last stitch, you want to put two double crochets into the last stitch. Always two double crochets into the last. And that'll end row three. And you should have a total of 18 stitches. And I do Every row from now on will have six more stitches than the previous row. So now it's just a repeat of rows two and three. That's all it is. It's actually really easy. So we just chain one. We're on row four now, so we would want to repeat row two and we turn our work. This is actually the front side of our work because you can see the ridges. So we put Two, we're repeating row two, so we're putting two double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we're going to put two or one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the point of the poncho or to your chain two space. And then when you get to your chain two space, you go ahead and work your, into, through the space, your two doubles. Chain of two. And two more doubles. Now we'll continue working one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our last stitch. And when we get to our last stitch, it will get two double crochets into the very last stitch. And that'll end row four. 
and you should have 24 stitches now. Remember, it's always six more than you had the previous row. So row five is just a repeat of row three. We chain one and we turn two double crochets into the very first stitch. And now it's front post double crochet in every stitch until you get to the chain two space. Just go ahead and finish this row out here. Okay, I'm at my chain two space. And again, I'm going to put two double crochets right through the chain two. A chain of two. And then two more double crochets right through the same chain two space. And now I'm going to continue working one front post double crochet around every stitch until I get to my last stitch Okay, when I make it to my last stitch, we want to put two double crochets into the last stitch. Just like that. Now I'll end row five, and you should have um, 30 stitches this time. Yep, 16 more, or six more. Sorry, 16. Six more than you had the previous row. So we had 24 stitches on round four, and round five will be 30. So we're just going to keep repeating rows two and three. So we'll chain one and turn and repeat. And as you can see, this is the front side. By doing those front post um, double crochets on the back, it creates these ridges on the front, which they will become more pronounced the more rows that you do. So you just want to keep continuing, continue repeating rows two and three. Okay, I'm on row 28 and now I'm going to do something different. Now you continue doing this if you want. Uh, you know, if you like the design on this, you can continue it for the full length of the shawl. I'm going to do something different though. So on row 28, which should have been just a regular double crochet row, I put two double crochets there in my last stitch, just like we were doing. Now I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. And I'm gonna go ahead and put two double crochets into the first stitch. Just like that. And now what I'm gonna now what I'm gonna do is chain one and I'm gonna skip one and double crochet into the next. So I'm gonna do repeat that pattern now for this row. Oh. And I'm going to chain one again, skip the next one, and then double crochet into the next, like that. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. And I'm going to do that until I get to my point. Chain one, skip one, double into the next, just like this. 
Okay, I've made it down here to my point, and I did a double crochet into this stitch. I chained one, and I have one left here I want to skip. So I'm just going to skip it and go directly into the point and do my... Make sure you chain one after that last stitch. Skip this stitch, go directly into the chain two space at the point, and work your two double crochets. chain of two and then two more doubles. Now I'm going to start going doing the same thing on the next side. I'm going to chain one now, skip the first one and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next one and double crochet into the next. So I'm just going to repeat this until I get up to the end of my shawl chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Just like that. Okay, I've made it up here to the end, and I did a double crochet. I chained one. I'm going to skip this stitch, and then I'm going to put two double crochets into the last stitch. So make sure you chain one, skip the second to the last stitch, and then two doubles go into the last stitch. Just like that. And that'll end um, row 29. Now for row 30, we're just going to chain one and turn our work. Now I'm going to put two double crochets into my very first stitch, just like we always do. And now I'm going to chain one and skip the next stitch, and then I'm going to double crochet into the next, which would be the next chain one space. So I'm going to skip this stitch and double crochet into the next chain one space. And then I'm going to chain one. Skip this stitch and double crochet into the next chain one space. I'm just going right through the space and double crochet. Chain one. Skip this stitch and double crochet through the chain one space. Skip this, or chain one, I'm sorry. Skip this stitch, double crochet through the chain one space. Chain one, skip, and then double crochet. So we're doing kind of what we did before in the lap for row 30 and what we did for row 29, except for now our um, boxes are staggered. I call these little boxes, I guess. So we're chaining one and skipping a stitch and double crocheting into the chain one space. So we're going to do this all the way down until we get to our point. Okay, I've made it to the point here. And you can see here was the last chain one space before I reached my point. And I have these two stitches here of the point. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to skip this one stitch of the point and double crochet into this stitch right here. The last stitch before you get to the point like that. Now I'm not going to chain one now. I'm just going to go directly into the point and do my two double crochets, a chain of two, and two more double crochets. Now I'm going to start the other side. Let me turn my work around here. And since we did not chain one before we went after we did this one here, we're not going to chain one here. We're just going to directly go into the first stitch. No chaining one. Like that. And now we'll start chaining one. Skipping one. And then double crochet right here into the next chain one space. Chain one. Skip this double. And then double crochet right in here through the next chain one space. So we're just kind of repeating what we did on the other side. It was only the corner or the point here that was just a bit different. Chain one, skip this double and double crochet through the chain one space. And we're going to do this until we get up to the top of the shawl. Okay, I've made it up here to the end of the sh uh, shawl, so I did my double crochet into my last chain one space. 
I chained one. I'm going to skip the second to the last stitch, and in the last stitch, I'm going to put two double crochet. Just like that. And that'll end row 30. So I'm going to chain one and turn row 31. I'm going to kind of repeat that again. I'm going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. I'm going to move my camera here. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to chain one, skip one, skip this one right here, and you'll be going into the chain space again and double crochet in. Chain one, skip this double crochet, and double crochet into the chain one space here. Chain one, skip this one, go into the double crochet, or go into the chain one space and double crochet. So we're going to do this all the way down. Chain one, skip this double, double crochet into the chain one space. So we're going to repeat this again until we get to the point. Okay, I'm coming to the point again, and I just did a double crochet in my last chain one space. I chained one. I want to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. Okay, we have one stitch left, so we're going to chain one and skip that la skip this stitch, and then go directly into the chain two space and do our two double crochet. A chain of two and two more double crochet just like that and now we're going to repeat that on the, on the other side so I'll turn around here so we can see it better okay and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so we're going to chain one skip this first stitch because we skipped it over here on the other side and double crochet into the next and then we're going to chain one skip this double crochet and double crochet into the next chain space chain one skip this double and double crochet into the next chain space so we're going to just repeat this until we get up to the end of the shawl chain one skip this double double into the next chain space so just like that okay i've made it back to the end of my shawl and i just did my double crochet in my last chain one space I chained one I'm going to skip the second to the last stitch and then put two double crochets into the last stitch and that'll end row 31 now for 32 I'm going to chain one and turn my work this time row 32 is just one double crochet well we're going to put two double crochets, I'm sorry, into the very first stitch. We always do that. So two doubles into the very first stitch, like always. And now what we're going to do for the rest of the uh, row is one double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space. So I'm going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. And then a double crochet right through the next chain one space. And into the next stitch. And into the next chain one space. double into the next stitch and into the next chain one space and this is what we're going to do until we get down to our point just a double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space just like that okay I've made it to the point on row 32 I just double crocheted in every chain one space and every double crochet up until I reached my chain two space and I just do the same thing as usual I put two double crochets and a chain two and two more doubles through that chain two space and then we just continue up the other side of the shawl putting one double crochet into every stitch and one double crochet into every chain one space. So basically row, row 32 is just a row of double crochet. That's all it is. And I'm going to repeat this until I get to the top of my shawl. Just like that. 
Okay, I've made it to the end of row 32, where I just did a double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space. And then you want to make sure you put two double crochets into the last stitch. Now what I'm going to do is chain one, turn my work, and I am going to repeat rows 29, 30, 31, and 32 one more time. Or until I've reached 36 rows. If you repeat 29, 30, 31, and 32, you will end at 36 rows. So that's what you want to do is just repeat those last four rows that we did. So we started with two double crochets in the very first stitch, just like always. And then we chained one, skipped one, and double crocheted in the next. Chained one, skipped this one, double crochet in the next. You just want to keep doing that just like we did before. So repeat, repeat rows 29 through 32 one more time and you'll have end, you'll end with a total of 36 rows. Okay I've made it to the end of row 36 and I did two doubles into my last stitch. Now I'm not going to do any more rows. You by all means can do as many rows to make your shawl as big as you want but just to keep in mind that if you do more additional too many additional rows you're going to need more yarn than what I said in the beginning but now I'm going to go across the top and clean up the top edge so I'm not going to turn my work I'm just going to chain one and now I'm going to work one single crochet I'm just going to kind of like uh, evenly space out my single crochets across the top because it's kind of hard to tell where they're supposed to go so my rule of thumb is I usually put two single crochets to every double crochet along the top so I'll just go in and just kind of work two single crochets to every double. You don't have to do that. You can evenly space them out however you feel is easiest for you. That's just what I usually do. And that's going to straighten out this top row. Uh, give it a cleaner, cleaner edge. Just the top of the shawl That's what we're doing. Remember, we did not turn our work after that last row. So if you look, you can see it's going to clean up that top row. See that versus this, it just looks a lot better. So I'm going to do this all the way across the top of my shawl to get that top edge nice and clean. Just like that. So you want to work that all the way across to the other end of the shawl. Okay, I've made it all the way across the top with my row of single crochet. And what I want to do is just end with the slip stitch right here in this uh, first double crochet here. On this side or somewhere right along there it doesn't have to be exact but slip stitch there and then tie that off and hide that tail and that is it you are finished you got one pretty shawl it's nice and warm it's got a little bit of weight on it but that's good for um, those in a colder climate you know if you get chilled at night this would be nice to just wrap around you it's really, it really turned out nice. So uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, and don't forget to uh, check out bagodaycrochet.com. Bag well, I put the link to the written pattern, the free written pattern um, there on my blog. Um, and also, again, special thanks to Red Heart for the yarn. And uh, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them. And until next time, have a good day.